Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Poffology. My name is Michael Poff and today is Vlogmas Day 6. So today we're doing something kind of Christmassy, I would say. We're going to go to Whole Foods. I know that's a weird place to go for Christmassy stuff, but they have uh, little trees, like Christmas trees. They're about four feet high and they're live. So we're going to buy one, I think. And uh, later today, we will go to dinner with my family. Um, I think we're going to Union 50. I don't know. I've never been there. So I so that's what we're doing. So, And I'm just out here looking at the cars, people driving by. So, but yeah, how are you guys doing? Are you having a good day? Are you guys doing anything interesting today? Um, so here's something interesting that I did last night. Uh, I was able to call Peter Mon, and we had a great conversation. Uh, I was super nervous about it. Very nervous, as you might imagine. I mean, calling Peter Mon, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. So we talked and it was awesome. Peter's awesome. He's, he's a genuine awesome kind guy uh i it's really weird because i felt like i've known him for three years he feels like a really close friend for some reason i don't know so i just i think our maybe our personalities just match and he just seems like a, a good friend so it that was a really exciting time and it was awesome i uh emily was listening in on the conversation and it was just a fun time i mean yeah because it just is so but we we talked for a while and I was able just to tell him a little bit about myself and uh, it was great so I hope we can make a video someday soon and um, I guess we'll just see I guess I'll just find out what if I never talk to him again that would be so that would be so sad but I, I think it ended well so but again Peter's just such a genuine sweet guy um, and he's been so supportive of me and uh, putting his channels and his or I mean my channel and on his channel and it's just crazy. It's just crazy. So, but that's what we're doing today. So maybe you'll catch us at Whole Foods, possibly, I think. So that's where we're going right now. So, okay. I'll see you guys in just a second. Bye. Okay. So we're at Whole Foods. We're about to get out of the car and we're going to look at the Christmas trees outside of Whole Foods. They have them in the front of Whole Foods and we're going to pick one out and I'll show you some of them. I don't know if I can bring this inside. I don't, I'm, I'm probably not going to, but here's Emily. Hi. And we're going out now. Let's go. So I'm at the Whole Foods in downtown. Oh my gosh. I'm going to pause this. So I'm in the parking garage and Whole Foods downtown is in a apartment complex i think or i think there's a maybe businesses in here as well and i'm pretty sure some of the pacers live here i don't really know but i think that's what i've heard so there's emily and we're going out to these trees but yeah so whole foods downtown has like a parking garage down there it's free so that's nice you can just park down here it goes further down and yeah so here they are they've been marked down to eighteen dollars they're cute prime membership 18 bucks there's really not that many there's a security guard making sure I don't know what he's doing probably just making sure no one steals anything so and then there's pine cones in there and garland birch, log. birch logs so yeah okay i'm going inside and we'll let you know in just a minute bye we're in whole foods here's our tree and we're getting some flowers too i got emily some flowers that'll be fun they're pretty okay we are back in the car we got our tree now we're gonna go home and put some lights on the tree and do whatever 
So I recently bought some new cologne. What's your favorite cologne or perfume? What? Whatever. What's your favorite cologne or perfume brand? Let me know in the comments below. And if you don't have one, that's okay. I really don't either. I, I don't really buy cologne that often. Maybe, possibly once a year, if that. Um, so I bought London or Burberry London and I got a sample of a couple other colognes but I cannot remember their names so but I got my favorite cologne that I've or two of my favorite colognes that I've ever had and I still have one of them it's Lacoste White I really like Lacoste White it does not last very long um, but I like it a lot and I've, I've heard a lot of good things about Abercrombie's cologne and yeah I know I don't really shop at Abercrombie but uh, I, th I think they have great stuff great smelling stuff my other favorite cologne they do not make it anymore and there's probably a reason for that it's kind of a cheap cologne marketed to probably like teenagers but I still really liked it, it and it was Ralph Polo Th Pony 3 it's a it's in a green bottle it was great I liked it but a lot of times you know Ralph Polo some I would say unless you're buying a really expensive cologne sometimes their stuff doesn't last very long Burberry I have found to last quite a while but I don't really care that much about how long it lasts as long as it smells good for maybe 30 minutes I'm fine so but that's what I've what I recently did and what else hmm I don't really know I don't really know I don't I listened to my friend's uh, vlog and he talked a lot about Dolly Parton and that was that was interesting he talked about Dolly Parton movies I've never really seen may I maybe I've seen one Dolly Parton movie and I normally see it around Thanksgiving but I have no idea what it's called maybe it's Smoky Mountain oh man I have no idea I, I have no idea but thinking about that I kind of want to watch a Christmas movie later today. Maybe a Hallmark movie. So, yeah, I'll be right back. So, I'm going to talk about uh, my Christmas wish list. Uh, here's the first thing that I'm asking for for Christmas. And it is, this, is, this might be kind of weird, it's a uh, pizza peel or bread peel made by... A super peel maybe you can see it oh I don't know so it's a peel that a peel is like a thing that you get the pizza off of or any type of bread it has a little conveyor belt on it so you hold it and you push it forward and it plops down the dough onto the stone or the oven that you're baking it and so I think that'd be really cool I like making sourdough I like making pizzas and I use a lot of, uh, what is it called, cornmeal to get the pizza pizza off the peel. And that's really helpful and it makes a good crust. But it's, it's really hard for me not to, it's really hard for me to not use cornmeal. And I think with this little pizza peel thing that I can just push the dough off because it's on a nonstick uh, cloth would go right onto the pizza stone or whatever, whatever. I'm using so and then I've been thinking about uh, possibly getting AirPod Pros but I don't know if I I don't really know if I will because I'm I'm like one they're expensive and two uh, I think another AirPod Pro will come out soon and so I'm I'm just I don't want to buy that and then oh I just spent that money and now or someone just bought that and now I you know it just may not be worth it because new headphones might come out what else am I thinking about for Christmas? Hmm. I really would like a really large nonstick Silpat, but it's Silpat doesn't make a big one that I would want to buy, so I'd have to get like an Amazon brand of it, but it's huge. It's maybe 36 inches by 24 inches. So maybe just a way to roll out dough and whatever I'm rolling out. So that's kind of what I've been thinking about for Christmas. What what is one thing that you want for Christmas? Uh, I also love 
Christmas stockings. So, well, what's one thing you want for Christmas? Let me know down below. What are I always like uh, finding out what other people are thinking about for Christmas or interested in. Uh, there's also a really soft robe I would like to ask for, but it's an embarrassing large amount of money, and I'm not going to do that or buy it anytime soon. And also, I really love a good stocking. I might, I said this in another video, but I just love great stocking stuffers. It, it's just so fun. It's so fun to me. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. That's what I'm hoping for for Christmas this year. Um, well, I I don't know. I'm Maybe I'll show you the Christmas tree once it's up. I think I'm going to do that. So I'll be back, and I'll see you soon. Bye. So here's the garland that Emily did. And here's our tree. Yes, it's only, we only have enough for half the tree. We vastly underestimated the amount of lighting needed for this tree. So maybe in another video, I'll show you it more decorated, but that's what we have at the moment. Okay, I'll be right back. So many of you have been asking me, Michael, what type of salt do you use? And I know you've just been dying to know. So I use this little bag of salt. It's called, I'm gonna butcher this name, Amabito no Mushio. Okay, I did not say that right. It's just a seaweed salt. I sometimes use Maldon salt. It's fine. It's Maldon is flake, flaky. This is smoked sea salt. But here's the texture. So this is the Japanese seaweed salt. This is the Maldon salt. And it's a different color because it's smoked. And then I eat turkey bacon sometimes. So, and I really like this cultured butter, this Vermont brand, Vermont Creamery. I like it. I think it, it's the best tasting butter from a grocery store that I've had. So I buy it sometimes. I don't buy it often, but you can get it at Meyer, probably Whole Foods, maybe a Kroger. Oh yeah, you can get it at Kroger. So, but I got this, um, it's, it's lasted me a long time. I think I've had it all year. And uh, yeah, it's great. It's made by hand, um, by seaweed. It has a little bit of a umami flavor. Umami, umami, okay, umami flavor, kind of. So it's really great. There you guys go. Actually, no one had asked me what type of sea salt I have, but that's what we got. So I'm making some bacon and eggs and some toast. So, all right, be right back. Well, that's all for today. If no one's told you this, you're loved. This world needs you. I'll see you again tomorrow, and I hope everyone has a great day. Bye.